It's been a long wait for most of us to really experience and get a good feel of how gliders can function at the sim. The official glider support is needed, and with native mechanics, which can serve as a baseline, should make a difference in flight simulation. Plus, a lot more ground to cover with new releases this week. The excitement never stops here at Microsoft Flight Simulator, and we try to bring you the latest on what's hot at the sim. So please, hit that subscribe button, as it can greatly help us. The much-awaited Pilatus PC-21 is now officially out of the marketplace. Just last night we heard about the first release happening at the publisher's store, and in a day or two we are to see this at the marketplace and other platforms including Orbex. A rendition of this fast turbo prop trainer can take us to another step of reality. This is the newest at the sim, the Air Force Series PC-21 that arrives from the Pilatus family following other releases such as the Coronado PC-12 and the Milwis PC-6. Now, Iris Simulations have managed to get an official license from Pilatus, with whom they've had a long-term partnership which would eventually lead to the release of the PC-9 and the PC-24. This should be a good sign that the aircraft was particularly made for Microsoft Flight Simulator. Iris has done fairly well over the years, and with early previews, this should surely appear to be a blast to fly. A partnership between Iris Simulations and RAF Virtual. Imagine 4,000 feet a minute climb with a speed of 426 miles per hour. That relates to 370 knots. We plan on reviewing this shortly, so stay tuned to follow on this one. Towards the military, this week seems to bring us another exciting aircraft, the MV-22B Osprey. The planned release is just a few days from today, the 4th of November it is. Now, Miltech Simulations have cleverly partnered with developer Moriarty bringing us this unique aircraft. The most comprehensive rendition of this model that was ever developed for a consumer flight simulation platform the words right from the studios. Now many developers have stated the same on different other projects. But this lot appears to have some good history in development, giving us more confidence and excitement to look forward to. A unique aircraft, sure. A tilt rotor, V-stall, multi-mission combination of a heli, and a conventional fixed wing aircraft that attempts with great degree of success to offer the advantage of both types of aircraft in the battle theater. Now the sim definitely needs more unique aircraft like these and it's too far to expect any battle modes on the military this side. Realistic operations, a full simulation of blade fold and wing stall procedures, accurate autumn hover, custom v stole flight dynamics and plenty more to offer us. The team of Moriarty have been working on the second title, a companion launch, amphibious ready group that essentially is a scenery and an action pack featuring landing vessels with accompanying missions that is focused on the Osprey. 16 locations to get detailed renditions of the USS America, USS San Antonio, going all the way to USS Virginia. Now the team has the familiarity on what they can deliver and they were amongst the first to offer us a highly detailed aircraft carrier. Another exciting project is in the works. The team of Azerpolia is said to have a large focus on the European Air Forces, which have played plenty of key roles throughout the years. Following the TB-30 Epsilon and the Fogger Magister, the Transal C-160 is very well in progress. A military transport plane that was a partnership production between France and Germany during the 60s. Now the C-160 was a staple in the French Air Force for more than 50 years. With the images shown here, a good amount of advanced 3D modeling and texturing has been used. Plus, with a visit to the actual aircraft, the team have used this as a reference point, similar to the project used on the TB-30. Now, a safer bet would be to expect a release happening in the early weeks of next year. There's still time for us to wait for this. Glider simulations have made a stride at the sim from different studios, especially from God Friends and Touching Clouds. Now, we need this to get official with the support we've always hoped for. Having native mechanics serving a baseline for teams to work with has been in the works, giving us this new feature coming next month. There are exciting times ahead, and with the recent feature discovery series gives us an idea on every detail that can be well covered dedicating to gliders coming to the sim. Meteorological conditions are the factors that are relied on physics of soaring. Now many of the changes that are being brought to the sim are related to the implementation of specific weather systems such as thermals and ridge lift. The 
the 40th anniversary serves as a milestone opening doors to unknown possibilities. The team have reached out to actual pilots of these gliders, getting permissions to procure 3D designs both in and out having the goal of getting the most accurate and detailed model of every kind. Audio design is another key component of the special glider focused on development process. We ought to expect some realistic sounds that react according to the air impact in the glider at each moment. One of the impressive sneak peeks into what has gone in would be the showcasing of the flight model and instrumentations. The actual dynamics that makes the glider soar and how it's supposed to in the real world. Exciting times ahead for sure. Ground level speaking, the Unalaska Airport, PADU in short, has been a remote public airport on the Amaknak Island. An Orbex product, by the way, that's a scenic airport in Alaska. Mathieu Wenanziani and his team have done a solid here. The airport features a short 4,500 feet runway that's bordered on one side by a step drop into the ocean and a hill to the north. Now both runways have the ocean that presents a very challenging approach and landing. 20% of all the flights are usually cancelled due to weather and a short runway. The team have made sure to give us a complete reproduction of the entire city as well and harbors with custom buildings. Custom ground poly and taxi signs, optional statics and works perfectly well with the Orbix Alaskan Mesh. If you haven't tried out the Alaskan Mesh yet, this is something to try. There's a 20% off sale going on for this by the way. Now with a 5 meter DEM data resolution offering us less impact to performance, the team of Orbix have made it again with this mesh terrain pack. On a personal note, I love mesh terrains and it's so much fun if you try VFR on these packs. Now the added bonus with this pack would be that the users can get the benefit of a free PAG and airport. Alaska Mesh is a fully self-contained product with no changes made to the default mesh or any other files of a Sobo. Each level of detail is consistent without any blurring and minimal level of detail morphing. You can find the link to the Alaskan Mesh, the Unalaska Airport add-on right here in the description below. The future is certainly bright for gliders and in two weeks, a whole new chapter which we plan on covering plenty more. Do stay tuned by subscribing. Until next time, do take care.